Hello and welcome to Waterbury Gardens. My name is Robert Jacobs. I am the Horticultural Manager at Waterbury Gardens. I am also, for my sins, a snowdrop fancier. Some may call me a galanthophile. That's galanthus, a botanical term for snowdrops. Gala being white or milk and anthus being flower. We have grown snowdrops now at Waterbury for longer than anybody remembers. Possibly a back, certainly into the Victorian times. And the snowdrop that you see on mass at Waterbury is not the wild snowdrop, Galanthus nivalis, but is the double form. So that's called Galanthus nivalis florida plino. And all those differences really, really matter to us. Though we see thousands of snowdrops down by the river, this is our one snowdrop, our one, what we consider to be our English churchyard snowdrop, Galanthus nivalis. A very simple snowdrop, a very sweet little thing. It doesn't have petals, it has tepals, an inner and an outer, and it has a little green marking on the inside. The one thing always to remember is they're not native. They actually weren't written about being in the country um, until Shakespearean times. Snowdrop country is from take the Pyrenees and follow your way along the Alps and then up into the Caucasus and Turkey and romantic places like that. That's where our snowdrops come from. There are approximately about 24 species of snowdrops, wild species. Of those 24 wild species, with crosses and changes, we now have more than 4,000 different snowdrops. So, at Waterbury, I've been allowed to collect about 80 different species, and I do like to get the ones that are slightly different. So things to get excited about are things like Primrose Warburg. She's a straight Navalis, but she's yellow, with yellow ovary and yellow markings inside. This really floats the boat of an awful lot of galanthophiles. Uh, but we, other varieties, I try to keep them something to think about. We have the enormous mighty atom you can see standing over there at the back. Straffan here is just a really good, it's almost got that blue-white you see in the Daz adverts. It's a really good quality um, snowdrop to, if you wish to grow that en masse. Uh, some of the fun ones that we grow is, and I've got to say, it will always be my favourite, Diggory. Diggory is a big puffed out snowdrop. It's a Placatus. There's Navalis, there's a Wheezy Eye, and there's uh, Placatus. And you can see it's crimpled. It's got this beautiful crimple as it puffs up. It always reminds me of the wedding dress Princess Diana wore on her wedding day. So of the 4,000 different varieties, one of the characteristics is where the outer tepal, the tepal's not petals, looks like the inner tepal, and where the inner tepal looks like the outer tepal. And we have this with Sibatoff white. This beautiful, you see inside, you can see there's hardly any markings and often you can find you can get longer inner tepals to almost match up with the length of the outer tepal. And then we go on to the eye pots. These are the ones that look like a pagoda. So this is Trump. Trump, in my opinion, is about the finest of the eye pots. You can see they look like the pagoda and this beautiful outside green marking and the way the outer tepal flares out. With everything there are the horrors in snowdrop collecting and I'm not quite sure if this distortion of walrus would describe as a horror. The idea is those longer outer tepals are supposed to look like the tusks of a walrus. Some people really like this one. They're equally double distorted ones, one called Blueberry Tart, and that faces 
up at you rather than does the normal hanging that you see with all of these other snowdrops. So when it comes to making a collection of snowdrops, if you wish to start, the place to start is at the cheapest snowdrops. The cheapest snowdrops are the ones that bulk up the fastest. They'll make you the quickest display. They have the energy behind them to grow well. They're normally very healthy plants. And the one I'd really recommend and put, put you there to begin with is one called Mrs McNamara. She's gone over now, so you can't see too much. But this last flower, or almost last flower, it's been flowering since the beginning of January, and it took us all the way through to start the season up. You can, with snowdrops, start in October with one called Regina or Glea, Galanthus Regina or Glea. And then you can go through to before Christmas with um, three ships. And then Mrs McNamara will get you through the rest of the dark side of winter until we can see the beginnings of spring with the rest of the Snowdrop collection.